Well, I must say, Dantes, you don't have the look of a traitor. Traitor? No. Attend me well, Dantes, for your life may depend on it. Did you have any personal contact with Napoleon when you were on Elba? Elba? Yes, I did. Well, we did. I was with the Count Mondego's son, Fernand, almost the entire time. Do you know Fernand? He's a recent acquaintance, yes. Oh. There you are. He'll vouch for me. No doubt, but you said almost the entire time. Except for when Napoleon asked me to deliver a personal letter to a friend in Marseille. Well, Countess, it is for accepting that treasonous correspondence that you have been denounced by your own first mate, Monsieur Danglars. What? Now, did you deliver the letter? No, sir. Someone was supposed to find me. It's, it's still in my jacket. Here. Have you read this? No, sir. I, I can't read. Well, Dantes, this is a letter to one of Napoleon's agents. It gives the times and the locations of the British beach patrols on Elba. Sir, I swear on my mother's grave. I had no idea he swore its contents were innocent. No. It's you that's innocent. Foolish and innocent. I believe these are the worst charges that could be leveled against you. Fortunately, as I've intercepted this document, there's no harm done. God knows how you're going to survive in this world, Edmond Dantes, but you are no traitor. You may go. Thank you, sir. Wait, uh... Did Napoleon tell you who was supposed to pick up the letter? Monsieur Clarion. What, what name did you say? Monsieur Clarion. Have you mentioned this name to anyone else? Monsieur Mondego or anyone? No, sir. In fact, Monsieur Mondego knows nothing of this letter. This is very dangerous information. One can never be too careful at times like this. Don't you think? Yes, sir. Mm. I've given you rather a stressful time. I wonder if, by way of an apology, I could offer you my courage home. It's just through here. Monsieur Villefort? Monsieur Villefort? Monsieur Villefort? That was the way. What's the point? As for me, I am Luigi Vampa, a smuggler and a thief. My men and I have come to this island to bury alive one of our number who attempted to keep some stolen gold for himself instead of uh, sharing it with his comrades. Interestingly enough, there are some of his more loyal friends who are insisting that I grant him mercy. Which, of course, I cannot do, or I will quickly lose control of the old crew. That's why you are such a fortunate find. Why is that? You provide me with a way to show a little mercy to Jacopo, that maggot you see tied up over there, while at the same time not appearing weak. And as a special treat, the lads will get to see a little sport as well. How do I accomplish all this? We watch you and Jacobo fight to the death. If Jacobo wins, we welcome him back to the crew. If you win, I have given Jacobo the chance to live, even if he did not take advantage of it, and you can take his place on the boat. 
What if I win and I don't want to be a smuggler? Then we slit your throat and we're a bit short-handed. I find smuggling is the life for me and would be delighted to kill your friend the maggot. Oh, uh, by the way, Jacobo is the best knife fighter I've ever seen. Perhaps you should get out more. <laughs> Release Jacobo and give him back his knife. Then we'll let the games begin. Vampa, allow Jacopo to live. He's already suffered enough with the prospect of being buried alive. The men that wanted to see some sport have seen it. Those who wanted mercy for Jacopo will get it. And by keeping me in Jacopo, you will have yet another skilled sailor and fighter for your crew. It's a deal. What is his name? His name? We should call him Zatara. Sounds fearsome. <laughs> it means driftwood. <laughs> I swear my dead relatives, even on the ones that are not feeling too good, I am your man forever. I know. Napoleon Bonaparte. Changed. I want you to buy a boat. Just something the two of us can handle. Wait for me to return. But I just learned that Count Monego has retired for the evening. He has a morning appointment. He can take it all. Well done, gentlemen. He's a means to an end. Some of which are less than reputable. Glad you could come to see me while I'm still in town. I must say we were delightfully surprised to get your note. Thank you. Now, would you be so kind as to excuse your husband and I for a moment? In order to accommodate a guest, even one as boorish as myself. The sad man. men will perform a search of your vessel. Who are you? I'm the Count of Monte Cristo, but my friends call me Edmond Dantes.
Cut him down before he can't talk. This could be the start of a long and fruitful relationship. Speaking of which. Did you? Yeah. Edmund. I thought we had finished our conversation in the carriage. What do you want of me? I want to be free of you. The way. Kings to you, Fanon. did I escape? With difficulty. How did I plan this moment? With pleasure. Except your life. Why are you doing this? Oh, it's complicated. Why are you doing this? I was a silly, trusting Duke that my... So be it. You've only got one shot. It'll take more than that to stop me. Then I best put it where it will do the most damage. No! Please don't go after that. Don't. Edmond, don't go. You try. I'll never quit. Satara, you must end this. Even the priest will understand that. Edmond! Please don't go. I couldn't live in a world where you have everything and I have nothing.
What happened to your mercy? I'm a count, not a saint. You were right, priest. You were right. <laughs> 